Hey, what's up? You're in the news with Camilla Banks, yes. Hey, I want to welcome you. If you're new here, welcome. Now, would you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload in the news with yours truly, Camilla Banks. Now, when I got home, there was a lot going on, but I'm not going to hold you long. I'm going to jump right on here and let you guys know what's going on. So, a man barricades himself in nearby home after a domestic incident. So, Kings Park, New York police were at Kings Park home Sunday afternoon after a man, he broke into a neighbor's home and he barricaded himself in a room following a domestic violence. So wait, let me get this straight. He had a domestic violence with his lover. Then he went and broke into a neighbor's home and barricaded himself. Okay. So at his daily coronavirus briefing Sunday, Suffolk County Executive Steve Balloon said that there was a domestic violence incident in Kings Park and a man ran from the incident and he was on foot. He was on foot. Now breaking into a nearby resident home, police escorted a senior living in the home to safety. Oh, so he broke into a neighbor's home and the neighbor is elderly, of age, old. So he, he had to know that his neighbor was an older neighbor to, to just pick her out to do that. Pick him or her out, because I don't know if it was a male or female. Okay, so officers are still, still at her home negotiating the man's surrender. So it wasn't her. It was an elderly female neighbor's house he broke into, uh, Balloon said. Suffolk County Police confirmed the information to Patch and said a woman involved in a domestic incident, she was taken to a hospital for treatment and for injuries that are not considered to be life-threatening. A cold red alert was issued ordering neighbors to stay in their homes and out of an abundance of caution, police said. Wow. So I mean, he so so he had a, a dispute with his um, with his lover, and then he chose to break into the neighbor's home, and so he picked an easy target to break into, you know, because I guess he broke in there and. I'm not saying overpowered the woman, but he knew that he could take over the situation as far as breaking into her house. That's why he targeted her because he knew she was older. And then he, he actually, he barricaded himself in the house. So when the police got there, they came and they pushed her to safety. Um, so they got her out of harm's way. And then after they removed her, they still had to, you know, negotiate him to surrender and give up. Um, wow. Wow. I'm, you know, I don't, well, they say that it was um, not threatening injuries. And they took the lady to the hospital and she, I guess she'll recover well. But... I, domestic violence is something that I'm, I, I just really despise, you know. Any man beating on a woman or vice versa, a woman beating on a man. It's, it's not tolerated. I have a zero tolerance for that, you know. So for him to run, he, he had to know he was in the wrong, you know what I'm saying? Once, if you know you're in the right, you're going to stand there and you're going to fight your ground. You ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? You're not, when you're in the right, you stand there and you wait for the police to get there with a smile on your face. So he ran and then he went and found the oldest person, the, the easiest target he could find. And now he all up in this woman's house trying to look for a room to barricade himself in. You know, and then, you know, this older, elder lady was probably... Scared out of her mind, like I can't believe this man then ran up in my house. You know, he just picked an easy target to do that on. 
but that's why it never pays to um nobody's what I'm saying is no nobody is perfect. People have arguments, people have have disputes, you know. Um but when it comes to you wanting to actually put your hands physically on someone, then it might be time to just be like, you know what? Maybe this relationship is not for me. Cause if I gotta beat you, you know what I'm saying? If I gotta beat you for you to be with me, or if I gotta beat you for you to listen to me, or if I gotta beat you to do right by me, then maybe this is not the relationship I need to be in. You know, that's maybe when you need to step back and really reevaluate why am I here? Because if I got to fight you every night to prove my love, this is not going to work. You know what I'm saying? When I'm, I'm just fighting a no-win situation and I'm losing him. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to the police being involved. You know, when the police is involved, then that means people is put on papers and it's trouble. It's just trouble. It's, it's just a paper trail. You know, and if I was that person, I would get out of it. I would really get out of that relationship. Because if I got to beat you for you to love me and do right, then it, it doesn't make any sense. Why am I here? That goes back to why, why am I in a relationship? Why am I trying to make this work if I got to beat you upside your head for you to get it? You know, and then domestic violence, it leads to other things. You know, it leads to people wanting to kill people. You know, it's it's a very serious, touchy situation, you know. And and if you got to be in that situation, then you, you it's best that you get out of it. You get out of it and, and try not to look back either. You know, um, this is just a very unfortunate thing. He pulled the neighbor into it and, you know, then the police was involved. It's just like, it's just downhill from there. Just downhill. Um, the moral of the story is if, if you got to beat somebody for them to be with you and it's going to be a domestic violence problem because it's going to be ongoing and it's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. Then just leave. Just leave. Simple as that. I know it's easier said than done, but you have to put what's real before you put the fake love. You have to you have to see what's real before you mess with the fake love. Either real love or fake love. Which one you want? I don't want fake love. I want real love. So that's it. That's all I got on that. Um, the song you hear playing is I Am God's Greatest Creation. It is streaming on all major platforms. Go check me out. You can check it out right here on YouTube by putting in K-E-R-N-L-A. Last name B-A-T-E-S. It's on all streaming major platforms. The song is called I Am God's Greatest Creation. And I know you, 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 and you are all God's greatest creation because he made you. Okay. So make sure you press that subscribe button and be notified. Tap that bell when I'm uploading. When Kamala thinks you're in the news, yeah. You're in the news, yeah. So go ahead, y'all. Do, do that for me. Have a nice day. See you next video within the news. Peace.